how you can take the desktop screenshots on your Windows 11 operating system using a new Windows 11 snipping tool which is called snip and sketch. So let's get started. So you can search for the new snipping tool using the search icon and then you can uh, search for uh, snipping tool just type few letters of uh, snipping and it's going to just show you the result you can just click on the snipping tool and when snipping tool opens you will uh, straight away see this message uh, which says snipping tool is moving and the new name of the snipping tool is snip and sketch and this snip and sketch you can open on your Windows 11 operating system by pressing the key combination Windows plus shift plus S. So I'm going to press exactly that which is Windows shift and S and it's going to open the snipping tool you can see. So you can see this snip and sketch tool is opened and if you don't remember this shortcut you can directly search for snip and sketch in the search bar right so just search for a snip and a sketch and you will be able to see this option which says snip and sketch so just click on it and it's going to open this kind of snip and sketch window and here you have the option to create a new uh, snip and you also have the option to choose the delay. So you have a by default snip now option and then you can choose the delay of three second or 10 second. And when I click on the new option here, so I'm going to just click on the new option. It's going to open this snipping tool. And from here you can choose from these four options, the rectangular snip, the freeform snip, the window snip or the full screen snip. So let's start with the window snip. So I'm going to select this option and then let's say I want to snip this uh, window for the snipping tool. I will just click anywhere on the window which I want to snip. So I'm going to click on this and you can see it's going to snip the same window which I have clicked on. You can even open uh, some other window and click on this and it's going to snip that window, right? Now here you have few different options. First one is a uh, ballpoint pen option, which you can use to just uh, draw on your snippet. Then you have the pencil option, which you can use to uh, again draw on your snippet. The third option is highlighter, which you can use to uh, highlight some text on your snippet. You also have the erase option. You can just use to erase all the links here. So it's going to erase everything. You also have the ruler option. So you can use the ruler and then you can just uh, draw in a line uh, using this ruler, right? You also have uh, the protector here. So you can uh, draw circles or you can use this protector to measure some angles and if you want to remove this ruler just once again click on the ruler and it's going to disappear you also have the option to crop your image you can crop your image uh, like this and once you are happy just click on the yes option and then you can save or copy this uh, image so let me show you how you can save it just click on the save uh, button here and then save your image anywhere, wherever you want. You can change the name. I will leave it as default and you can choose between JPG, PNG and GIF format. I will leave it as default as PNG and then click on save. And it's going to be saved in my pictures folder, right? You can copy this on the clipboard or you can share this using your email contacts or some other apps which are installed on your Windows 11 operating system. You also have the settings here. So when you click on see more option, you can click on settings and then you have some more settings. So auto copy to clipboard is uh, enabled by default. You have the save snip option which will ask you to save uh, your snip before closing. You have multiple windows option 
and then you have snip outline this is interesting you can select the outline on your snip you can see this red outline you can increase the thickness of this outline also once you uh, uh, enable this and then your pictures which you snip will have these outlines right also you have this option which says use the print screen button to open screen snip right so you have a print screen button on your keyboard you can just click on this link here and then when you click on yes here it's going to open the keyboard option and when you scroll down a little here you will be able to see uh, this option which says use the print screen button to open screen snipping right so when uh, i enable this and when i press on the print screen button on my keyboard it's going to open this tool so, so let me press that key print screen and it's going to open that tool using the print screen now here you have uh, the option to uh, choose rectangle which will allow you to create a rectangle here and you can uh, just snip the rectangle you can see it's uh, copied to the clipboard or you have uh, the option to take a full screenshot by just pressing this button and it's going to take the full screenshot you can see uh, that this snip is copied to the clipboard you can uh, then paste this anywhere else and you have the option to uh, select this uh, freeform snip which will allow you to just take picture in the free form right so like this it's going to take the picture in the free form like this so this is how you can use the new snip and sketch tool to take screenshot and save your images of your desktop on your windows 11 operating system 